Hello friends and welcome to Storytime with Teacher Julian. Today's book is Bees. It's a National Geographic kids book that I borrowed from the library. This book was written by Laura Marsh. It's all about bees. So, I just want to let everybody know that bees have a very important job. They fly around make flowers grow, make fruit and vegetable grow, and we're going to find out a lot about bees in this book and maybe something about um, who will work with a bee. Okay, let's get started. Here's our title page. Look at all the bees in their hive. This is Bees by Laura Marsh. For Tracy, friend, educator, and beekeeper. A beekeeper is somebody who works with bees. They collect them, put them in a hive, and they put them near a place where they can do their work. They might be by a place that grows flowers, or a fruit orchard, orchard or some place where they grow a lot of vegetables, a lot of different places. So beekeepers will work somewhere nearby and supply all the bees um, for the farm. So this is our table of contents. It says buzz, helpful bees, pollen power, seven cool facts about bees, a bee or not to be, a world of bees, home sweet home, busy as a bee, Keeping Bees, and a quiz, and the glossary. So, let's get started on this. Buzz. Outside, the sun is shining, the flowers are blooming, and the bees are buzzing. When some people see bees, they run. Others might not even notice the bees. But, let's stop and take a closer look. Bees are helpful. Our world needs bees. Like I said, they got a tough job. They fly around and make the flowers grow, fruit and vegetables. Ooh, it has a, a question. What kind of bee is hard to understand? This is a mumble bee. Wah, wah. Helpful bees. Bees help people and plants. Honeybees make honey and beeswax. People use these things in a lot of ways. So let's take a look at this right here. What do we see? This is a candle. Beeswax is used to make candles and cleaning supplies. It looks like a bar of soap. Right? And what about this? Yep, it's honey and a honeycomb. Honey is sweet and delicious. All kinds of bees help plants make seeds. Seeds can grow into new plants. Some of those plants give us fruits and vegetables. We can thank bees for strawberries, almonds, apples, tomatoes, and many other food. Look at this. We need bees to help strawberries grow. Pollen power. When a bee lands on a flower, the bee's pollen rubs off on the bee. Pollen sticks to its tiny hairs on the bee's body. And it says buzzword. Pollen is a sticky yellow powder made by flowers. So if you look really close, here's the flower. Inside here is pollen. It needs to get from one part of a, of a uh, plant to another one. And this bee has landed on there, kind of dancing around a little bit. And look at all the little crumbs on him. See all the crumbs? That's pollen. This is what we'll, he'll take from one flower to another flower. And 
it'll make the flower grow or more flowers. When the bee travels to another flower, pollen from the bee brushes off onto a new flower. This is called pollination. Now the new flower can start to make seeds. The bee doesn't do this, it won't make another new flower. It, no seeds will grow. So we need for this to happen on every flower. A bee's legs has special hairs that form a basket. The bee brushes pollen into the basket then it flies back to the nest. This pollen is used as food for baby bees. So there is, this is the back side of a, of a bee and if you look at these yellow things right here, those are the baskets. And these are all the tiny hairs. And there's the basket empty. Right? It's empty. And then that's full of pollen. Bees collect nectar from flowers too. Nectar is like a gooey, sweet, like a sugary drink. They drink nectar with their tongues. And some bees make honey out of the nectar. These bees are called honeybees. So it says the buzzword is nectar, a sweet sugary juice that flowers make and bees love. Seven cool facts about bees. Number one, the garden bumblebee has a tongue that is as long as its body. What? That right there, that's its tongue. He's like this, but it's as long as his whole body. Number two. Humans collected honey from bees as early as 6,000 BC. That's before I was born. That's a long time ago. Number three. Bees have four wings. Two large wings and two small wings. So you can see on this picture, there is the big wings right here and then the two little tiny ones right there. Number four. Bees can see colors. They are most likely to land on flowers that are blue, purple, or yellow. Hmm. Number five. Farmers often hire beekeepers to bring bees to their fields. The bees pollinate, pollinate the farmer's crops. So this right here, this, this person, they're wearing a hat to protect their, their body and their, and their head and gloves and a suit. And these, this is all filled with bees. It's honeycombs. That's where they live. Number six, honeybees do a dance called the waggle. Scientists think that the dance show other bees in the hive where the best nectar is. And they go around dancing. Hey, I know where all the good stuff is. Follow me. That's the bee. I, I need to work on my waggle just a little bit, right? Number seven. About one third of our food on our planet grows because of bee pollination. That is a lot. If you look at all the food out there, one third. That's a, you have one, two, three. Bees do all this work. That's a lot. As my friend Hamlet says, a bee or not a bee. It's easy to mistake other insects for bees. They often look alike. Can you tell these two apart? Which one of these two is a bee? Hmm? Is this a bee? Or this one? Well, if you said this is a bee, nope, this is, a, this is not a bee. This is a yellow jacket wasp. And this one is a bee. It says bee has hair all over its body and help to help to catch a pollen. And it eats the nectar and the pollen from flowers and has pollen baskets if the bee is a female, which means a girl. And this one is a yellow jacket wasp. 
eats mostly meat, like other insects, and does not have much hair, and does not have pollen baskets, so you can tell the difference. See? From far away, yeah, they look kind of like, you get closer, hey, look, this one has long wings, and remember the bee has two sets of wings, tiny ones, and a little bit bigger. So there are ways to tell them apart. Just take a closer look at the bee and the yellow jacket wasp, which is not a bee, and can you see the difference? Oh, we already did that. We figured it out. We are practically experts now. Ready for another joke? What do you call a wasp? A wanna be. Ooh, the jokes. A world of bees. Look at this bee. This is, mo says, most bees are solitary bees. Teacher Julian, what does solitary mean? Solitary means they're by themselves. About 20,000 kinds of bees live on Earth. That is a lot. 20,000 is higher than I can count. All bees are either solitary bees or social bees. Hmm. Solitary and social. Solitary bee makes a nest for its young, and the nest is inside of a hole in the ground, in the wood or in walls, or in a plant stem. Solitary bees collect pollen, but they do not make honey or beeswax. Solitary bees live alone. Solitary bee all by itself. Solitary. One, maybe just the bee and its babies. Social bees are bees that live in a group. So if our school were, bee, were full of bees, if we were bees, we would be a social group. Because there's a lot of us, not just one. Social bees live with many other bees. A group of social bees is called a colony. A colony of bees lives in a hive. Honey bees are one kind of social bee. As many as 50,000 honey bees may live in one hive. That's a lot. Bees care for their young there like their babies or little kids, they make and store honey in the hive too. So a hive is an open space within a tree, structure, or a box where social bees live together. I've seen beehives in walls, in garbage cans, in uh, an ice cooler, a lot of different places. They want to be out of... Um, out of the wind, out of the sun, some place where they can all live together. And look, these are all bees. All bees, and this is the hive. See the honeycomb? And this is inside of a tree. There's the wood, and the, all the bees inside the hive. What goes zub, zub? A bee flying backwards. Home sweet home. Inside the hive, honey bees build with bees wax. The bees mold the wax into six sided shapes called cells. Lots of cells together make a honeycomb. A bee made this. It has six sides to it. Honeycomb, a sheet of six-sided cells make made of beeswax. Woo, that was kind of tough to say. Let me try it again. Honeycomb, a sheet of six-sided cells made of beeswax. I did it. See, and look, 
the bees made this and there's there is the bee filling it with something I wonder what it is the bees put nectar from flowers into some of the cells as the nectar gets thicker it turns into honey and the bees eat the honey for food just like us so this little clear stuff is all the nectar and all the leftover stuff is the wax that they make their home out of. Other cells in the hive hold bee eggs. Hmm. There is one egg in each cell. The eggs hatch and the young bees grow and change. After 21 to 24 days, the young bees become adults. So here's, you can see these little white dinky things right there. Those are the bees' eggs, one in each cell. Then they start growing and adult bees feed them when they're in the cell. This little bee will go over there and give them something to eat. And there is the bee as it's growing. These youngs, these young are almost ready to become, to come out of their cells. A bee starts as an egg and becomes an adult in about three weeks. Three weeks, that's very fast. That's 21 days. In 21 days, it goes from an egg to a fully formed flying bee. busy as a bee. Every honeybee in the colony has a special job. These jobs keep the colony healthy and strong. There is only one queen. One. She is bigger than the other bees and she lays all of the eggs. All of them. Up to 1,500 a day. Every day, that's a lot of eggs from one queen bee. There are two other kinds of bees in the colony. Drone bees are male bees, boy bees. Their job is to help the queen make eggs. Worker bees have many jobs. These females feed the queen and care for the young. They build the hive and make honey. On long flying trips, they collect pollen and nectar. They are also, they guard the hive against enemies. Whew, that's a lot of work. And there is the female bee with the pollen sac. And look, this big white thing right here, this is a flower. Look, she's collecting the pollen and the nectar. This worker bee is collecting pollen. Keeping bees. Look at this. These are all filled with bees. And look at all the flowers. Remember how they said that the, the bees like yellow flowers? And this is a beekeeper right here. Beekeepers wear special clothes to protect them from stings. Some humans build honeybee hives out of wooden boxes. Beekeepers take the hives and collect the honey. Beekeepers also check the bee colonies to make sure that they are healthy. Beekeepers know how important our bees are to our world. Yeah. Remember? One third of the food. One third, that's a lot. So, this is bee aware. Here are some tips for staying safe around bees. Move slowly. Don't wave your arms or jump around. If a bee thinks it's being attacked, it may sting. We don't want that. If a bee comes near you, stand still or walk away slowly. We can do that. Do not swat at a bee. 
let it fly away on its own. Do not disturb any bee's nest or honeybee hive. The bees will defend their home and they may sting an attacker. And we don't want that. If you are stung by a bee, put ice on the sting. If you leave bees alone, they will probably leave you alone. Sounds like a good idea. Why did the bee get married? Because he found his honey. Ooh, the jokes. The jokes. All right, we're getting towards the end here. This is the last page. Remember, hive is an open space within a uh, tree, structure, or box where social bees live together. Here's a honeycomb. A sheet of six-sided cells made of beeswax. Nectar is a sweet, sugary juice that flowers make. Pollen is a sticky yellow powder made by flowers. Social bees are bees that live in a group. And solitary bees are bees that live alone. The end. And the back of the book. It says, read independently. And there's our book about bees. So, friends, I want you to remember a few things that we learned about bees. Bees are important to us. They make a lot of food, fruit, vegetables, and flowers. They do a lot of work. Uh, if you see a bee, leave it alone. You can stand back and watch it. Walk away if you see a bee. And don't get close to a hive. If you hear a lot of buzzing, stay away from it and let, you know, maybe let a family member know. Oh, I hear a lot of bees over there. Okay? So be safe around bees. We need them. They can be very friendly to us by doing all that work. And we can be friends to them by staying away from them. Okay? That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this book. I enjoyed reading it. I learned a couple of things, like the little sacks on the back of the legs. Didn't know that they did that. Okay, friends, that's all I got. I will see you next time. Bye.